Fair warning, if you are an Oakland A's fan, you may want to turn off this video right now. Hi, Yankees Jets fan 71 back with another video. Uh, today on another bobblehead review, uh, this is going to be a bobblehead I just got in today. It's the Derek Jeter flip play bobblehead that FOCO just put out. Um, I had pre-ordered this back in June, I believe. Um, and it just arrived today. It was supposed to have been here earlier, but because of all the shipping problems that most company in the United States are having, I just got mine today. I have two more bobbleheads from FOCO supposedly being shipped out by the end of the month, so we'll see. Um, but this is the front of the box. It shows a picture of what you get. You got the Hall of Fame logo there, the Cooperstown Collection logo, the Yankees logo, and the cert or authentication sticker there. You get the Derek Jeter 2020 Hall of Fame logo on the side of the box. The back of the box, you get the big ass Hall of Fame logo. It's other side, Derek Jeter logo. And the top of the box, you get the interlocking NY. Uh, this came in very packed in styrofoam. But as you can see, there's a chunk of the styrofoam out because... This sucker was in the box and it was so hard to pull out. I had to finagle, dance with it. I had to, you know, shake it and it finally got out. I suppose I should be happy that it's hard to get out. That means it's packed really well. But the bob, the, I'm sorry, the, the styrofoam is kind of fragile. So when I tried to pull it out originally, huge chunk of the styrofoam came out in my finger. Had styrofoam all over my pants. This is the hazards of a bobblehead collector. Uh, so speaking of bobbleheads, here is the main event. This is the Derek Jeter bobblehead. And I got to tell you, I like it and I don't like it. It's kind of plain compared to the other bobbles that Foco gave out in this set. Um, I, that I didn't pick up the rest. This is the only one in the set I didn't pick up. I probably would have rather have picked up the either the dive play from Yankee Stadium against the Red Sox or his final game at the stadium where he's jumping up and down. Those two were better bobbleheads, but because I didn't get the first flip play bobblehead that was give, that was sold at Yankee Stadium a few years back when Jeter retired, I decided to jump on this one. I didn't know initially it was going to be a set. I thought this was a standalone, and that's probably why I picked it up. Then the next week, another another bobblehead was revealed, and then another one. And I said to myself, if I keep buying every Yankee release, I'm going to go broke. So I have to start being a little picky and choosing what I get going forward. So, And I've been actually kind of good with that because there's been a bunch more Jeter bobbles that Focal's released. And I'm contemplating on picking them up. There's... The Cooperstown collection one that I need for my set. And they have a beautiful gold glove one that I really wanted. Um, they had a Yankee Stadium base one that sold out before I could make up my mind on it. So we'll see. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on with the, the review. Um, this actually has a really good likeness to Derek Jeter. I'm really impressed by the likeness on this. Got the cap with the interlocking NY on there. He's in his road jerseys. from Obviously because they were playing in Oakland. Uh, when the flip happened, he's about to flip the ball. It's right there in his hand. He's got his wristband and his glove. He's on the first base side. Coming off, there's first base behind him. Though there's no base, but that's the first baseline. And he's going into foul territory. And if you know Oakland Coliseum, there's a lot of foul territory in Oakland Coliseum. Um, the base is kind of cool. This is a sticker, though. This is not raised lettering on this. It says the flip, Yankees versus Athletics, October 13th, 2001. I believe the Yankees might have been either holding on to a one nothing lead at the time or they were losing um, at the time. And then the play happened and that turned everything around. And I'm sh if you don't know the story about the play... Um, Shane Spencer was the right fielder in that game, and he threw the ball over the cutoff line, off over the cutoff man, and over Tino Martinez has had. Jeter came sprinting from shortstop. He read that ball perfectly, caught it on the fly, and then had to flip it to Posada because Jeremy Giambi was chugging around third. And to this day, I will not understand why the man didn't slide. Had he slid, he would have been safe by a country mile. And 
if you look at such a bang bang play at first, you don't know whether or not Giambi was safe. But it took me about like ten or fifteen times watching the replay, uh, and I and I watched it in slowed motion replays, and you could see Giambi's foot was in mid air, about to come down on home plate when Posada tagged him on the calf, on the back of the calf. So in my opinion, he's out. And a lot of, you know, and he he was out. I mean, a lot of Oakland A fans I know will say, he will swear he was safe to this day. But I think he was out. I, I'm pretty sure he was out. I'm, I would almost bet my entire bobblehead collection that he was out. But if I am if I was Art Howell in the dugout, I'm screaming at Giambi, why didn't you slide? What the hell? But then again, I can't blame him because who the hell knew Jeter was going to come out of nowhere all the way from shortstop to get that ball and chug it into Posada? You know? So back to the review. Um, I like the plate over here of the G of the Derek Jeter Hall of Fame logo. That's pretty cool. You got a piece of styrofoam back there. Um, and you got a, a blue, white, and gold stars and ribbons on this side. It's not on the other side. And it goes all the way around the, on the base. The back has the number two. Unfortunately, it's I don't know. I'm not. I haven't taken this out, so I don't know for sure. But I would venture to guess it might be missing the stick, the um, MLB, or maybe not. Let me see if I can see it. I actually is that it? Yeah, it's there. I thought it was going to be missing the um, MLB logo up there, but it's it's there. We just saw it. Because then there's the other one right there. The only thing is that's wrong with this is it wasn't in Yankee colors. It was in red, white, and blue back in back in 2001. It didn't turn out to be. They didn't change it to the team colors until I want to say 2003. I could be wrong on that. Let me know if you guys know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that in 2001 it was red, white, and blue. Um, that's just a little nitpick there. Um, the paint apps here look a little off. If you if you could see that it sto totally stops right there underneath the cap, I guess. Eh, it's not a big deal. It's just nitpicking as as normal. Other than that, the paint apps on this bobblehead are superb. They Alfoco always does a great job on these bobbleheads, and the paint in this one is no different. The New York is a sticker, but that's fine. I don't mind it. And so is the interlocking in one on the cap. But overall. Um, again, my initial thoughts were this was just a mere bobblehead and I'm still glad I bought it. I'm still glad I have it in the collection. And, um, I, I just think the other, the, there were a couple other ones in the line that were a little better. Um, but you know, I'm happy with the bobblehead. It's my, it's the flip play. I have to have it as a Yankee fan in my, in my collection at some point. So anyway, guys, that's the review of my Derek Jeter flip play bobblehead from Foco. Oh, forgot to show the bottom. I got number 159 of 222, 2222. And yeah, as you can see, there is a screw bit. It's a screw base. You, you unscrew it. There's a peg that you put the foot in on the base over here, and you just screw it in. So anyway, guys, hope you guys liked the video. If you are a bobblehead collector, I hope you got your hands on this bobblehead because it did sell out. As, as most of Jeter's stuff normally does um, on Foco site. So if you haven't got the bobble and you want it, you may want you can check eBay. Um, I would wait because right now eBay prices are going to be ridiculous for this bobblehead. I've seen anywhere from $125 to $200 for this bobblehead. So you may want to wait a little while until the prices drop and then jump on it if you want. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please click that like button if you like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos such as the one you've seen tonight. And also please leave all comments down below. So guys, I hope you have a great evening. I'll be back later this week with more content for you. Take care. Peace.